What's up, y'all? White Magic Tiger, the undercover hippie evangelist, bringing another controversial video to y'all. God is the all-seeing eye. So, of course, we got the Illuminati, and they're showing their, the triangle with the eyeball everywhere. And for a long time, y'all, this symbol freaked me out. Definitely freaked me out. And that's what they're trying to do. They've taken something d divine, something sacred, and they have perverted it. What is God? God is all-knowing omniscient god is all seeing that is omnipresent god is everywhere god sees everything god is omnipotent god is all powerful that is what the eyeball is the eyeball is god seeing everything and they know this and so they've taken something divine and they perverted it because they want people to be scared of the all-seeing eye, which is God. God is the all-seeing eye because God's omnipresent. God's all-knowing. God knows everything going on. God is everywhere. The triangle is symbolic of the Holy Trinity of our Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Mother, and the Son. Heavenly Father being the cosmic consciousness. Heavenly Mother being the Holy Spirit, the cosmic vibration, the Amen, the Om, and the Son being Jesus Christ, the embodiment of the Christ Krishna crystalline consciousness because ultimately God is consciousness and in, in Sanatan Dharma we have the sayings Om Tat Sat and then we also have the saying Sat Chitananda so to break down Om Tat Sat Om is the Holy Spirit Tat means in English that it means that which cannot be explained with words essentially it's talking about the Christ Krishna crystalline consciousness and then Sat Sat means truth and in John 8, 32, it says, Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth is God. Heavenly Father is the truth, with a capital T. And then we look at this saying, Sat Chit Ananda. Well, we have the word Sat again. That means truth. God is truth. Chit. Chit means consciousness. God is consciousness. And Ananda. God is bliss. Sat Chit Ananda. God is truth. Consciousness. Bliss. Om Tat Sat. Cosmic vibration. Christ consciousness. Cosmic consciousness. So when you look at it, triangle means trinity, eyeball, it means all-knowing, everywhere, sees everything. How can this be a wicked symbol, y'all? There are depictions of, of like old churches, artwork, well, you'll see triangles behind Yeshua's head, triangles behind Heavenly Father's head. The triangle is not evil, y'all, it's geometry. How can, how can geometry be evil? It's a triangle. And then in Matthew 6, 22, Jesus Christ says, the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, if thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of life. In Genesis 32, 30, uh, Jacob said, I have seen God, I have been to the land of Pineal, and there I saw God face to face. Talk about the pineal gland, the pineal gland. The next thing I want to talk about is serpents. Again, this is another thing that people have been programmed to be scared of when you have the Garden of Eden story. You have Hollywood movies, the serpent, the snake is always the bad guy. Have y'all ever thought that this was programming to get you scared of snakes, to get you scared of serpents, to get you scared of the kundalini energy that resides at the bottom of our spine? Because when the kundalini is awakened, we rise to a higher state of consciousness. And the powers that be, if they're trying to take over the world and control the world, would it be easier to do that if everyone had their kundalini awakened and they were enlightened, enlightened? Or if they were in a state of fear and ignorance and just not knowing what's going on? It would be a lot easier in this scenario where they're scared. And so they've taken the all-seeing eye, they've hijacked it, they've taken the serpent and they perverted it and made it fearful. And another thing is the pentagram, the star. People freak out over the pentagram. Again, it's geometry. It's a star. The two bottom points represent the two feet, the two hands on the sides, and the top of the star is our head. The human body is the pentagram, y'all. But most mainstream Christians freak out if they see a pentagram symbol. It's, it's literally the symbol of the human man, the human woman, the human body. Two feet, two hands, a head. So the triangle, the all-seeing eye, the snake, the pentagram, most mainstream Christians freak out over these symbols. Or so, even just people in general are so scared. And, and that's the enemy. The, the enemy plays tricks, tricks y'all. And he's hijacked sacred symbols and perverted them so that we do not reach a higher state of consciousness. 
The pentagram is a protective symbol, y'all. It's only perverted when they flip it upside down. Now that's, that's evil. Because that's saying you're hanging a man by his two feet upside down. That's demonic. And then I talked in my previous video that serpents, not, not all serpents are benevolent and loving. These are known as nagas, and, which are essentially dragons. There are good dragons and there are evil dragons. But not all serpents and dragons are evil and bad. There are good ones, benevolent, and there are evil, malevolent ones. And that's where we have to use our discernment. There's white dragons, there's black dragons, y'all. And the all-seeing eye. Satan, it, L Lucifer, whatever we want to call it, the enemy, wants to be like the most high, right? What's up with all the cameras? This whole police state, this whole NWO where they're trying to monitor everything. There's cameras everywhere. Uh, there's microphones in the smartwatch. We got the phone, we got the iPad, we got the computer. There's cameras on all the street corners. Like you got the smart houses, smart cars. But those are just those are just tracking devices. There's nothing smart about it. It's about uh, accumulating data on you and spying on you. These are spy devices. It's trying to be like the Most High because the Most High sees everything. The Most High knows everything. So all the cameras and microphones are, are is the enemy trying to see everything, trying to know everything, trying to hear everything. I would love to hear your comments down below. And yeah, thank you for watching this video, giving it a like, sharing it, subscribing to the channel so you can have more videos like this where we just go into just kind of controversial videos that I like to, what I feel like I feel like I'm touching on the truth here and I like like-minded people so if you resonate with it subscribe to the channel and ultimately I'd love for you to submit to the Lord follow the Lord the King of Kings Jesus Christ and he's the way this this YouTube channel is for him and it's for Heavenly Mother and it's for Heavenly Father and it's for their glory it's for the glory of the Holy Trinity and hopefully we all come to the realization that we are the divine children of God and we awaken to these higher states of consciousness and we no longer forget that we are separate under this illusion, this idea that we're separate from God and that we fully realize that we are royalty, that we are the divine children of God, that we are the superman, we are the superwoman, Christ, Krishna, crystalline conscious beings. Essentially that we are gods and goddesses like Jesus Christ said. And if you feel the calling in your heart to help support this channel, thank you for making a donation. It would be greatly appreciated. And may God bless all y'all. Thank you. Amen.